What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Forza Horizon 3, and I'm going to be showing you one of the best places to learn how to pull off barrel rolls. Or, if you're just wanting to mess around and uh, try to get your car to do some crazy flips, um, maybe some double flips, maybe some, you know, like I said before, maybe some barrel rolls, maybe some double flips, maybe something like this, kind of like a 360 backflip type deal, um, or if you want to do, like I said, if you want to do the, hit that double barrel roll, it is possible, you just got to practice it enough times, and you got to get the right trajectory of the car um, and, uh, enough times, and you will be able to nail that double barrel roll. So, without any further ado, uh, basically, how I stumbled upon this spot was I was just kind of driving around. I was just kind of driving around in the game, playing around. I had recently built this Veyron, and uh, I was just messing around with it, messing around with it, having some fun. And I ended up falling off the track up here and kind of heading back in the direction that I came from and sort of stumbled upon this kind of off-road looking area. And I was like, oh, well, okay. Um, and <laughs> it's funny because I st stumbled upon this area and I was like, oh, well, let's see how a Veyron does it off-roading or something. And then I saw the lip of that hill and I was like, wait a minute. We can make something really, really legit happen here. And it's not going to be hard. Like, we can make something, we can make something pretty crazy happen here. And by the way, um, it, I probably, I would say I was able to pull off that double barrel roll within maybe, I don't know, maybe about... 10 minutes of being at that spot, so I would say it's definitely not, um, definitely not a hard one to pull off. Now, you will fail. You will crash a lot. Now, let me just, like, go ahead and get that right out of the way first off. Um, and actually, the nice thing about it, though, too, is that you're right next to the, um, you're right next to the, the auto show. So, if you want to switch cars, I mean, not that, not that it would be hard to switch cars anywhere else on the map because you have it on your menu, but if you wanted to, like, buy a car or, or do something else, then it's right there for you. And yes, I know I tried to drive straight up the wall. Yes, I am prepared for the flame that I'm about to get for that. I know, I know, I know. But the funny thing is, it acts kind of like, if you get enough speed, it acts a bit like a half pipe, like for skateboarding or something. So it's kind of a fun area to mess around with. Now, when you're setting up for these barrel rolls, you want a car that's got a lot of power and is preferably all-wheel drive. You can do it with a rear-wheel drive car, too. You're just going to need more of a run-up because your rear-wheel drive car is not going to have as much traction, especially on the sand uh, with higher power. I mean, this thing has over 1,400 horsepower and over 1,200 foot-pounds of torque, and it's all-wheel drive, and it still spins on the sand. So that's why I generally like to use all-wheel drive cars. For stuff like this, it just makes it a little bit less... Um, it makes it a little bit less crazy, and what's funny is I ended up actually pulling off another barrel roll uh, right in the beginning right here off of that other little jump, which you can do if you want. So, this was my first attempt, and it didn't really go amazingly. There's a lot of these that I wanted to show you where I crashed, uh, just because that's gonna happen. I mean, it's gonna happen, and it's gonna happen over and over and over and over until you land it right. Now, uh, the nice thing about it, too, is that even when you do crash, it spawns you right back here. So it's not like you're in some kind of weird uh, secret area where it's going to spawn you way far off um, and you're going to have to make this, like, this long drive back. No, it's really, really easy. You just, like, it spawns you right back in the same place. And um, the only thing is, if you hit that, as you can see, if you hit it at the slightest of the wrong angle, it will cut all your momentum off. Your, all your momentum will be gone and you will stop dead in your tracks. But, if you nail it and you get it right, you'll make it no problem. Now, again, also make sure you have rewind turned on for this. There's nothing, there's no shame in using rewind to do barrel rolls. It's not like barrel rolls are realistic anyway. So, it's not like you have to worry about like, Oh, I don't use rewinds because it's not realistic. Well, you're doing something that's not realistic at all anyway, dude. So, yeah, turn your rewinds on. It'll make your life a whole hell of a lot easier. And then once those are on, you're pretty much good to go because you can take off, rewind a little bit, and then take off again. No big deal. Now, if you do want to challenge yourself, you don't have to use the rewinds. I mean, you can you can make it a hell of a challenge for you for yourself if you really want to. Like, you can turn your rewinds off, and you can use... I was, I was almost about to say a, a rear-wheel drive car, but you know what? Hell, you could use a high-powered front-wheel drive car and no rewind. This is the one where I almost did a freaking triple, and I know it's possible, and when I get it, I'm going to do a video on it, and I will show it to you guys, but I have yet to figure out the exact, like, 
you know, technique for a triple, but, or at least to make a triple consistent, because there, there is a formula to, like, where you hit this jump and what speed you hit it at, you know, to pull off certain tricks, especially if you want to pull them off, like, repeatedly over and over and over and over and over, you can get to that point. I am not there yet. I, I've got to get it down and I've got to nail this to where I've actually got it, but it's definitely a spot that you're going to be able to do some crazy stuff with. Now, as far as other cars on this jump, I don't really know how well other cars work. I like using the Bugatti Veyron because it's it's heavy enough that it's got a lot of like rotating mass and rotating, mo rotating momentum in the air, uh, but it's also super planted on the ground and it just works really well when going off the jump. Um, that was like exact perfect trajectory, just not enough rotational speed. So you have to get this mixture of rotational speed and, you know, aim and trajectory right. Otherwise, you, you're not going to, it's not going to work very well. So um, that was a, that was like the, probably the first single that I had landed. And that's only because like, if you want to land a single barrel roll on the track, um, just go a little bit slower and hit the ramp at a slightly shallower angle and you'll get a single barrel roll. It's not difficult. Um, this one, what's funny is I landed the, the, the single and then I landed that weird, like crooked sideways double, like immediately after it. So I, 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 I figured I was onto something and then, and I was because like I, a couple times later, I ended up landing some pretty cool stuff and I actually wanted to take a look at this one in slow motion too, just because, just because I was like, okay, that was the first double that I had actually landed. So I wanted to kind of see it, but like, I, I think in the long run, though, that in itself is like a bit of an odd angle for a double. So um, I would more almost call that like a less of a barrel roll, more of like a twist. I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe I'm just putting ter too much terminology into it. That this one I really wished was um, more rotational speed because that was, again, the second time we almost landed a triple. We almost landed a triple so um twice in this video we almost landed a triple and actually you can see the underside of the map which is kind of hilarious but it's very possible and i definitely think that if you if you keep trying it and you try hard enough like i mean dude i'll be back here a ton uh trying it more and more and more with different cars because i do want to find out what works best um i'm gonna see if i can come up with like a quote-unquote formula for this jump um, you know, as far as like where to hit it and what speed to hit it at for like singles and doubles and that kind of thing. Um, that like twisting backflip, it was like a really slow, smooth twisting backflip. And I wanted to see it again because it was like, I don't know, it was pretty much a 360 backflip if I had to like nail down exactly what it was. But, uh, but definitely a really fun spot. I really, really enjoy it. I recommend using the Veyron for this spot because the Veyron... Um, is really good at this stuff just because of the way the way it drives the way it's built I mean, you know, never mind what you actually think of the Veyron as a car uh, so A lot of people don't like it. I I personally, you know, it's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite uh, So it's kind of like in the middle there, but definitely a super super fun spot if you want to check it out uh, It's literally right by the auto show um, If you enjoyed this video leave me a like tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it and If you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more I'll be posting more of these stunt videos very very soon again Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one talk to y'all later